In this video, we'll draw the Lewis structure for KClO3, that's potassium chlorate. So the first thing that we need to realize is this is an ionic compound. Potassium, that's a metal, and ClO3, that's a group of nonmetals. It's called a polyatomic ion. It's called the chlorate ion. So we have a metal and a nonmetal. It's an ionic compound. So we need to think about the charges on each of the ions here. Potassium on the periodic tables in group one. So it has a one plus charge. ClO3, chlorate, if you look that up on a table of common polyatomic ions, you'll see that the whole ClO3 ion has a minus charge. So that plus and the minus, that's why these two things are attracted together. These two ions are attracted together and they form KClO3. When we think about this ionic compound, the potassium, which is in group one, has one valence electron. It lost that to the chlorate. So overall, the chlorate, that has a negative charge. So an electron was transferred because this is an ionic compound. So we could write potassium, let's write K, and that has the positive charge here. And then for the chlorate, we need to write a Lewis structure for ClO3 minus. So we would need to actually write the Lewis structure for the chlorate ion, which is kind of involved. So you can watch my video on writing the Lewis structure for the chlorate ion. I'm just gonna pull it in here because it's this negative ion. We put these brackets around it and we have a negative charge. The negative charge is actually on the oxygen with the single bond, but we write it like this to show that the chloride ion, negative charge, potassium ion has a positive. The positive and the negative, they're attracted together. That makes KClO3. And overall, for KClO3, it's a neutral compound. It doesn't have a charge because the positive and the negative, they cancel out. So when you write the Lewis structure for these ionic compounds, we put the brackets here to show that the potassium lost an electron to the chlorate here to form the chlorate ion. Sometimes you'll see brackets around the positive ions. I don't usually do that. Um, either way, this is a valid Lewis structure for potassium chlorate, KClO3. Do note that potassium chlorate is normally a crystal. So this is just one formula unit of the crystal, which would be a lattice of a number of these all lined up together. This is Dr. B with the Lewis structure for KClO3 and thanks for watching.